Welcome, Ken. Today, we have a video I'm very excited to watch with you. It's the biggest and most expensive house in the world. Wow. I've been looking at a lot of houses. I've seen a lot of really expensive houses, so I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see what they got for the one. You like watching expensive house tours as well? This is yes. not just me? Dude, I'm, I'm officially joining Floor Gang soon. You're moving all your stuff? Yeah, like we had to move up, <laughs> yes. we had to move up the date to move stuff. So I'm going to be like here with just like a laptop sitting on the floor recording videos soon. Fuck yeah, <laughs> I can't wait for that. Uh, <laughs> my pain, I appreciate it. Oh, when you have to stand up afterwards, that's just pure pain. Oh my God, I look forward to it. Anyway, floor gang. Yeah, heck yeah. Floor gang, oh. Okay, so I found this video thanks to Cody Code. Thank you. Sub to Cody, thank you. The thing is, okay. I love watching these kind of videos because I watch the Architectural Digest ones, but they're all copyrighted. Oh. I can't react to them. So okay. I'm finally excited to watch these. In this episode, we speak with Niall Nayami, the creator and visionary behind The One, which he believes is about to change the world. Is he talking about the building? I don't know. It sounds like, it sounds like the opening to The Lord of the Rings right now, like The One <laughs> Ring. <laughs> I'm going to guess and go ahead and say Niall is probably pretty delusional, but let's watch. The one is the largest house ever built! Valued a half a billion? Jeez! Wow. This better be good. What kind of fucking idiot buys a house for half a million? Half a billion, sorry. <laughs> half a billion, right. Are there that many billionaires in the world? Like, uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't think... I, don't I wish think there was people... one more, honestly, you know? <laughs> she... Oh, yeah, guys, become a member so I can... Um... <laughs> About half a billion dollar house. Half a billion. Bel Air, California. Oh. Your favorite place in the world, Ken. Oh, yeah. Is that the house? I swear I've seen that house. It was on the Selling Sunset. It looks similar, at least. Half a billion for that? Wow. What? It's got a parking lot. Wow. That looks like what some is... shitty trophy from a video game. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, this is... The time that I got my feet cleaned by the little fish at the uh, at the nail salon, <laughs> and I wanted to commemorate it with this statue. <laughs> the pool is terrible. There's two pools. Double pool. Three. There's three pools. We just had the most epic, epic house tour in the history of our channel. I think in the history of anybody's channel. What a guy! Wow. What a guy. I thought I, I thought I heard like Ozzy Osbourne there for a second talking. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we just had like the, the greatest house tour of our lives. It, it looks like one of those people that go clubbing but never grow up. <laughs> he looks like this shirt was probably black before he wore it into the club and then he came out and looked like this and didn't change out of it. <laughs> you know when you were younger going to clubs and there was always that fucking old ass dude and I'm like, why are you here? What the fuck? There he is. There he is in flesh and blood. Um, I'm sure you all agree. Ah, Mr. Sleaze bag. That's the well, right? Mm, this guy's about to, we're watching a drug deal go down, I'm pretty sure. This guy did a line of coke right before <laughs> this. <laughs> yeah. a, little, a little bit on his shirt right there. What is that? Uh, Bruh, beanie in LA, get the fuck out of here. My biggest pet peeve with LA people is when they're like, oh, it's a little cold. I better put on a jacket. <laughs> Get the f out of here! Like, like there's 80 degrees outside. What do you mean it's cold? <laughs> it's a little chilly. I bet they put on my jacket. They, they, they just love the idea of wearing a jacket. I'm like, stop it. You don't get to <laughs> appropriate this fucking thing that we have to wear. Every god, I die. We're outside in UK. I actually think I had a jacket in LA. Now I think about it. God damn it! <laughs> What we can do with the house. Mm -hmm. What did you mean? Tell everybody. You look so bored. Well, I think that I have something very, very exciting, and I believe that. I like the little paranoia of looking over his shoulder. <laughs> like, oh, like, there's, there's the cops are here. What is that? <laughs> the homeowners are going to come in at any minute. The house is called The One Bel Air, and my show is called The One. And between those two, I think that we have the ability to really change the world in a very positive way what how for one person what? or what? <laughs> change <laughs> you spent half a million dollars in a house who are you changing the world for right now <laughs> <laughs> in a really positive way too i mean shit. now hunger in africa all these problems it's all solved thanks to the one house for half a billion thank you noel how does this house 
change the world. I, 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 I need I, you to explain I, that. I will explain. So because of COVID, <laughs> all of the venues around the world have been either shut down or dramatically altered. There uh -huh. is nowhere in the world, really, where you can go for a venue like you used to have, like a big boxing match or the Academy Awards or the Grammys <laughs> or... <laughs> you think they're going to have the Academy Awards at his f***ing house? Like, what is he on? Where is he getting with this? Did he, did, is he, is he leading to that he didn't build a house, he built like a convention center? Is that? I, it, what, what difference does it make? The same regulations and rules apply. All right, I, we, we shouldn't judge before we know his answer. Any crowd to gather at Staples Center or MGM or Caesars Palace or any of these other places. But we have it now because <laughs> this house has the ability. It just cures COVID. It, it has the ability to cure all disease. You see, you see, rich people don't get COVID. So if you come to my rich house that costs more than everyone else's, it just goes no away. Logic. How did this guy get, handle this project? There's no logic in that whatsoever. 900 people in a safe COVID environment. And what is being created for this house is a show that is a show that everyone will want to watch and identify with because it stars me. I live in the house, and I live in the house <laughs> with people that I love, and <clears throat> crazy things and have crazy parties, but we also... He's like, this house isn't going to sell, so I guess we got to film something. I don't know. <laughs> so he, he just compared this place to, like, the Staples Center and all these big places that can hold thousands of people. Not COVID and, safe. And, and then he's like, but this is different because we can have like 900 people here and it and we have a show dude it's it i'm changing the world bro i'm changing the world it's the one obviously i'm delusional but that's fine i wear a beanie in los angeles it's whatever the world in so many different ways and one of those ways we're doing it is so many we ways are creating gigantic boxing matches right in the grass Gigantic. Maximum 900 oh people, God, though. Dude. Like, <laughs> did I ever tell you that I used to, like, me and my friends, we would, we'd go out in the yard and have, like, boxing matches back in the day? This is you! This is, <laughs> this is me if I ever get rich right here, okay? I'm gonna go build a stupid, like, boring-looking house that costs way too much money just because of where it's based at. This is like a flex. It's like movies, you know, like, oh, we, we made this much money in our movie in the year 2020 when ticket prices are like double what they used to be. We did it. We set the record. It's the same thing with this dude's house. Just the location mm. alone probably costs like way more than any other house, you know, Bel Air on top of the freaking hill. Uh, like imagine if you had to go and build like, I don't know, like some grand uh, like Notre Dame or something. Yeah. How much do you think it would cost to build today? Probably more than this dude's house, you know? Probably. So, you know, it's it's like a weird but, flex of just... But it's the one, Ken. It's I just don't understand how people can uh, bullshit this much, but oh, I want to see what else he says. It's very entertaining. Boxers that you could ever imagine. And concerts. And anything that you could imagine that has a pay-per-view event leading up to the pay-per-view event. I'm going to go ahead and let and say there will never be a pay-per-view event mm, in this. Yeah. <laughs> like, it, it would just be cheaper to get an arena anyway. It's not like there's any yeah. difference. Like, it's, what it's, are you on about? It sounds to me like you may be having trouble paying his bills, you know. And he's yeah, like, exactly. Okay, we need to, we gotta That's have what it seems here. like. Yeah. We need this place to pay for itself. Airbnb, it, it, okay. Yeah, yeah, it wants to market that in this video. I am going to have a very, very successful show, and I'm going to have events like they used to have, where you have energy and you have atmosphere. And that's what we're going to do right here, starting the next couple of months. We're right here on the grass. It went from like, he's changing the world to like a flex. It's gonna rain money down. But we're gonna do it like we used to do it, man. It's gonna be great, changing the world. 900 people at a time. We have a flat field of grass here. It's gonna <laughs> really make an impact. <laughs> he's talking like he actually is the only one that has a yard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> boxing event with the biggest boxers that you've heard of in your life with round table <laughs> around the boxing speak. event where people are going to come and they're going to eat and they're going uh, to have a good time again in an event the way that it used to be but way better than it ever was because we have the energy from the city they have energy from the city what no way they have like some sort of electricity or this is the one. I mean, no other house has any of this. 
Felix, please tell me what this dude's talking about. Because I <laughs> this guy any is sense. black face. Like, what? I would <laughs> love to speak with this guy and be like, so it, how exactly is that different from any other hat? <laughs> so right. <laughs> okay. You know, what, in boxing, what? He's got Logan Paul and Jake Paul on the phone right now. Like, dude, let's have some boxing matches up here, you know, bro. Right. That's what it sounds like. I'm sure they could do it, but fuck, man. So how exactly is this better than a stadium then? Because it's in his yard. Okay, gotcha. I gotcha. All right. Can understand. I put myself down for a front row seat? He just wants to be in you on can. it. And there'll be 35,000 to 40,000 each, but you can. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> but listen. Ouch. <laughs> 35,000. Jesus Christ. Even so the this price. is for delusional people selling delusions. I love it. My goal <laughs> Buy delusion. Is, you know, the the fight between Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao made seven. Oh my God! How fucking long do they speak? I want to see the fucking house. We have a better. Oh, this is event. the whole video. Hold up. Let's let's watch the actual house tour then. Sorry. Listen to this dude talk is a whole video in itself though because yeah, like this dude's obviously surrounded by just yes men. That's why it's so fun. I want to talk to this dude. I'm sure he's a great guy, but that, what? You, you're everything? sure he's a great guy? I'm sure he's a great guy. <laughs> you just kidding. That's the most bullshit thing I've ever heard you say, Ken. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's got a lot of money, okay? I gotta like him. Uh, okay. Tell him. <laughs> oh, man. I'm sure he does a lot of, you know, po possibly a lot of. Uh, he's changing the world, man. How can you not the like world, him? $35,000 a ticket at a time at his house that he paid too much for. <laughs> And now like, he's got to make some monthly pay for No it. one's ever going to buy that house because if, if you had, if you had to spend $500 million in a house, just look, like, we haven't even done the house tour yet, but just looking at it, you can build something better. I, I promise. It, does, it doesn't look great, but I can't wait to see this fucking house at last. Oh my gosh. There it is. Wow, there's the, the fish foot thing again. The pool isn't even dug down. Oh, I got to go up a ladder to go Today swim? is the most epic of epic videos. It is 105,000 square feet. It is called The One. And what gets better than that, we are with The One. The is that one the entrance? Only, Niall, who is the visionary <laughs> behind this. How does it work? He built this, and he is just a, an incredible guy. And <laughs> yeah, bro. Gonna show us I, I, can't, I can't say enough. Gonna... No cameras have no, been is. before in its entirety. Ever, ever, ever. Is that correct? That's right. So this you is the a first, world Michael. debut. So we got a um, it's like a moat that goes stone door it. that that opens into itself. He completely ignores this dude. I love it. <laughs> right. I, I, I just looked it up. You know, they said it's the biggest house in the urban world. Yeah. Biggest houses in the world. It's number nine. Oh, Not even so you look, yeah, fact check this bit. Yeah. You gotta have Google next to you, wherever you're not walking to this guy. I'm like, number one, let me check that back real quick. Oh, in the uh, urban world, right? Oh, no, I take it back, actually. Actually, there's a freaking skyscraper building that's like 400,000 square feet. It's huge. Jesus Christ. All right, never oh. mind. They lied about that, too. It's not the biggest in the urban world. <laughs> it's n fuck all. Check that out. <laughs> okay, that's kind of cool. front door. Biometric, we have the latest technology in the Yo, it's biometric! I'm oh, so shoot. I have a billy. Here you go. <laughs> Biometric. What the f I mean, that's kind of cool. Biometric, man. Whoa. Come on. Guys, yeah. I have never been in this house before. This is the first time walking through the door. Adam has nice. never been in this house wow. before. And I don't even know uh, what Thanks for house. clarifying that. Well, I don't care. <laughs> let, me show you, let me show you over here. So we'll come and go this way. This is a. Uh, this is oh. the entrance? Fuck, where do I dump my shoes and jackets? I don't want to walk this far. There's I mean, some... LA, I'm wearing jackets and beanies. What am I going to put up? There's just a bunch of marble in space. Like, where's the actual... <laughs> What's the point of this? This is where's so Where's the personality? Dumb. I need some personality in this house. Where's that? Uh, maybe maybe this see... is the dude's personality. <laughs> <laughs> do you not see this thing in the middle? It's <laughs> wow. big. We have the sculpture done original for this house. This artwork original. is from Michael Phelps. It's called Unity. and it was. They got a Michael Phelps sculpture. No way. Well, he doesn't screen. do sculpture. I have no fucking clue. <laughs> it turns 360 degrees. It turns! Whoa! Whoa, 360 degrees! Oh, Ken, I got this phone. It fucking turns, dude! What the bro? <laughs> Check it out! Whoa! Oh, 360 degrees spins! 3D, what the fuck? Dude, this sculpture looks like a piece of plastic, man. <laughs> what the f Seating areas in the house. This foyer is a true foyer. 
It's like an art gallery. When you so much have, art. I mean, yeah, I can't stop looking at only size. art. It's like, wow. <laughs> you mentioned it. Well. <laughs> Let me show you over here. Love that rich person line. <laughs> oh, man. This dude's even got like a swag walk, too, man. He's, he's walking like he's got his back. He knows what he's he doing. So yeah. we have um, a two story office with an office balcony. I have to ask you a question. Do you get lost in here? I don't. I mean, and, and for me, it, it doesn't even feel big anymore because I've done it so many times, but you know. That office is awful. What the fuck? The house space is just like vertical, like up. Yeah, Every it's room just is just tall ceiling. Tall. Congratulations. Like, I wouldn't feel comfortable in this office. It feels way too big. I mean, just imagine the echo when you're trying to yeah. record. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On, honestly, I would hate this office. I know that's just me, but I still don't think it looks good. 10 years in the making, right? 10, Ten years. December 2012 is when I first bought this land. And, um, and we've been pushing ever since and th this office is the only room in the house the house is surrounded by water this is the only room in the house is that what you just said <laughs> it's the only, another tangent about something else it's the only room in the house the view is terrible too like yeah i'll just say you can get this office in like any city you just like rent an office space in the building and you you have it with a better view like <sighs> but this office you'll see every single wall in this office touches water so it's like it's floating it, look how dirty it is it looks that's good like if that's what it is now can you imagine where's the water there is water it's just very light you see here at the edge but you can tell how much oh. gunk it's collected it's like you don't you're good <sighs> they gotta have some things happen so they can afford to clean it okay the, yeah <laughs> it seems like they need a boxing event ken you should set about oh my god <laughs> out in the yard I, i'm six foot two how high are these Okay, that's a fucking now? tall uh, they're ceiling. They're probably 24 feet. How do you reach? How do you reach we got, a, we, got a, we got a balcony in your office so people can like go over the edge and like peek on you while you're working or something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love this, how you have too much storage when they literally like, okay, I don't know what to put. Okay, a bus, yeah. maybe another bus. Okay, a bus, a bus, a bus, a bus, a bus. This, this is our kitchen right now. Like we, we have very tall shelves in our kitchen, like too tall for us to even reach. So we just have like a plant on each one like, uh -huh. like one we don't have to water like all right you just you guys just sit up there and just live your lives because we're never you can up relate to this i see how it is spectacular have you ever seen an office with a balcony i have not i actually <laughs> yeah. noticed that i thought yeah and there's probably a good reason for that because why because yeah. yeah, why, why would you need that <laughs> In case you need to look over the office. If anything, in the office, you want to be private and then and, and not interrupt that and not have people having a fucking balcony where they throw yo yo's down. I don't there's, know what you would do with that. Yo -yo. <laughs> <laughs> there's not even a door to this office. Like, you just, anybody can come in. We, we, have, we have an open door policy in our office here, you know? <clears throat> yeah, you're right. It is impressive, right? It's a big ass office, but it, who wants it? And the price, I think that's the context, right? I can't just say this right. is awful. The, the whole thing is set up for people to do what we're doing to it, right? It's like, I spent a crazy amount of money on stuff that nobody actually wants. It's so cool, but we're like, no, it's not. Who, who no. wants this? You yeah. Know? yeah. Be, be critical about it, you know? I don't, I don't feel bad about making fun of this guy's house because it's awful. Okay, good. <laughs> and the and he's awful too. designed it like uh, the Plaza <laughs> Hotel in New York, where you could have multiple meetings at the same time. And, and, but it was oh. very important for me that the house feels comfortable and warm, which that's why I did the use of like it definitely really does nice, not. warm no. suede wallpaper. <laughs> oh, that, cha that changed everything for me now. <laughs> what do you mean warm? This is the coldest house I've ever How, seen. Is this not the Four Seasons? But who wants to live like it's a Four Seasons? You're never going to sit in that can. That right? couch looks like it would hurt my back just sitting down on it. <laughs> but also, why? What do you do on the couch? Mary said this to me the other day <clears throat> when I was talking about I was looking at expensive houses just yeah. for fun. Yeah. She's like, the problem with big houses is they just look like hotels. And this is exactly what this house looks like. It's just a big yeah, like, hotel. It looks like a hotel, I'm right? Yeah, yeah. There's no personality to it. It's just a hotel. I'm fine with it <clears throat> not having personality because you want to sell it. So you don't want it to be too... If you spend this much money on a house, do you want to sell it? Did he, you think he built this to sell it? Who, who knows? I have a backyard with a view of the entire LA basin and the ocean and one acre of usable space, which does not happen anywhere. Wow. What the? Show us. I don't care. What the fuck? Oh my god. That's, such a, that's the worst flex I've ever heard in my whole life. We have a whole acre 
of usable space that which we could have literally anywhere else in the world for a fraction of the cost but it's in la and we have a view of the smog-filled polluted city <laughs> this is great <laughs> wow congratulations oh, i love how the backyard has nothing it's just grass you can't you sit out there that. it's something you can't do anything um, it's just grass this is a moat and the reason that we did a moat here if i want to know why where there is not a moat you see the glass rail yes so in order to have this free view to the city, we had to put the glass below, which we'll go to. But so below, we have probably the world's most expensive running track. It did cost a lot of money, but it also gave us the look of no glass railings, which we'll go down there. Spectacular. I want to see it. He keeps explaining everything. This is real grass and I'm going to walk on it. Real grass and he's going to walk on it. Thank God he paused for attention uh, there. I mean, oh all right, here we go. I'm not. Are you ready? Look at He's his gonna, shoes. <laughs> walk on the grass. I can't wait. I oh like how God. he stopped. Like, all right, guys, I gotta make sure. Real grass. Here we go. There you go. How about that? Look, I'm Ooh. on the grass, guys. This is, a, this is a video full of fun. This is Simone He's on the grass. In. You know, I have astroturf in in my place, right? Yeah, yeah. And it's the fucking greatest. You don't have to mow it. <laughs> Everyone makes of fun of my astroturf, but you know who doesn't have to cut the grass? This guy. <laughs> it's the best. It's like watching people that are too rich. Like, is this real grass that I'm about to step on and not on a golf course? Oh my God. <laughs> we don't have real grass in our houses because we're rich. <laughs> in Murano, Italy, and they always say Italy. It's always like, ah, this is stone Italy and blah, blah, Italy. I'm like, stop. This artist was nice enough to make this for us. And, That's so nice. And because they wanted to be involved in the one, but it's turned into something so much more because my ex-wife. Do you remember at my wedding, there was this giant glass things in the building? Yeah. It's just so ugly. And they were like, they didn't tell us that those were going to be there. And they said, you can't photograph them because they're copyrighted. But like, they're in our oh. face and we don't want them there to begin with. Oh, God. Gotcha. Glass sculptures are just tacky, dude. I don't like it. Yeah. My favorite part about this guy so far is that he never finishes a story. Like, he tells <laughs> half of a story and then, like, goes off into another one. He's so uninteresting. I can't. I'm just zoning out when he speaks now. It was a whirlwind relationship. I met her during COVID and it- No, we it don't care about your relationship, out, dude. Maybe it will still at the end, I don't know. But this is a charity that we have called Wings of Angels. And this is gonna help children in third world countries through the arts. Because she is a, a well-known actress and singer in Argentina. And she- I'm waiting for the point. a very tough life in Cordoba. And she wants to- be part of the solution of changing the world. And one of the ways we're gonna do this here is through this charity, uh, Wings of Angels, and it's going to build housing. What the f are you saying? I don't, uh, the sculpture is gonna change it by building houses. <laughs> can't listen to this fucking dude. Third world country children to learn through acting and through singing. That's remarkable, that's remarkable. And it's spectacular. What does that have to do with a sculpture? It's like he's making it up. He's like on drugs. He's like, all right, guys, this is uh, G Fuel. Uh, I'm going to drink it. And it's a charity. And in other countries, they don't have. And, uh, and then my relationship. And I got a dog. Uh, and my dog is like the most expensive dog in the world, but it's changing the world through uh, video gaming. And, and yeah. everyone can access a video game. So it connects yeah. the whole cyberspace. And with and electricity and by cryptocurrencies are gonna hey, hey. change the world and uh it's like dude just finish like the fault please uh, one fault. yeah it's blown glass it's yes. the finest blown glass there is and this is same thing wow yeah amazing i know italy is famous for blown glass well i'm back on the grass guys fine <laughs> this is like oh the grass again oh wow <laughs> well i'm back on the grass guys i picked out every single thing in this house every paint color every stone every tile all I wish you did. <laughs> I worked with furniture companies, but you know, I picked like all of this was all my idea, like to keep it warm and supple. It's so warm. You're right. I'm, I'm sweating in here. It's like such a cold house, dude. When are they going to show us something actually like interesting in the house? Uh, yeah, so far I'm not impressed. Not gonna lie. I am overwhelmed. You've never seen me overwhelmed in a house before. I am overwhelmed. Well, this is, what are you overwhelmed by? 
the Thank lack you. of anything uh, in it, elevator. I guess. Elevators, I think there's six elevators. All of my flowers are artificial, but you could never tell. Right, I, I thought they were real. Yep. You don't need to worry about them staining and dropping. That's good, he, he has to worry about his uh, cost at this point. So. And you don't need to worry about sustainability. Spectacular. Sustainability with flowers. You mean ecological, plant-based growth? It's bad for the environment? Is that what, <laughs> what? <laughs> But plastic is better? Okay. Dining room, we have one of two wine cellars here. This is not completed yet, but this is the, di the, this is the wine cellar. The house is not finished? Or bigger. So these are all for the large format wines, and it's all temperature controlled. I've never been in here before. <laughs> rich people love wines. So the, the All these rich people houses just uh, gotta have that giant wine room, right? <laughs> I remember watching Jenna and Julian's house and they have this giant <laughs> like wine thing and they literally just uh. use it as a room for their dogs. <laughs> 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 Which is probably what we do too. It's like, F and you get a house that's nice with like needing a fucking wine. Oh, whatever. Probably just me. You're not a wine drinker? And the, 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 the bigger no. Be here all the way up. Whoa! And it's all but how do you get control. up there? You have to use a scaffolding? There'll be a, um, a rolling ladder. <laughs> These are the best lights Okay, there we go. Seen. Yeah, that's what you need. You need someone... <laughs> you need someone drunk trying to get another beer on the rolling ladder and climbing <laughs> up in your house. <laughs> you know? Yeah, how much wine do you need, dude? This is unbelievable. There's 20 chairs around this table. So we have another, there is. another arc there is. all of these were made overseas with, with, with our designs. I would feel like such a fucking chump if I bought this place. I'd be like, what the <laughs> fuck did I do? What Anyone would feel. Oh, this magical art piece I got here. The, the, the rings that are connected. Ah, yes. You know what could change the world, Ken? Half a billion dollars spent to like a good cost, right? <laughs> it's, it's about sustainability. We need to make a place where we can go out in the yard and have boxing matches at $35,000 a ticket. And then my ex-wife is going to do some charity. And then she's also an actress, but maybe we can get back together. But also, but her best I got friend's the most... cousin Mary is really into <laughs> these sculptures. That... But you don't realize how big they are, even though you can see them because the house is big. And speaking of big, you know, I'm pretty cool myself. Uh, I'm going to show. Be, have you noticed? I'm going to be show i'm interesting there's people around me do you know what else is so spectacular you look either side of the house that's going to be what 100 yards away from us and yeah. the views outside the windows in wow what a view what a view ken and, 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 wow and luckily for us Whoa. we're exactly framed of the getty that is the whole getty right in front of you this is another no elevator. way the, main the whole getty we have two power Whoa. rooms here may we take a peek sure all the power rooms have total electric toilets in them Greetings. <laughs> okay, I respect this. All the doors nice. are electric. That should be That's the, the coolest standing. thing. That's the coolest That's the thing best, in the whole house. Best thing so far, and they brushed <laughs> through it. Uh, wow! That totally just pulled his own seat up. Holy what is, crap! What is going on here? Look, the house isn't finished, man. Don't they? They, they, they need to have, have some events so they can finish it. They got the, the painter's they, tape on there still, right? Yeah, what the fuck is this? Zero electric, so you push the button, they all open automatically. This is the butler's pantry. This is really cool. Like, can I see this it? This is really cool. This is the smoking room, the cigar room, and I did special ventilation here. I don't, I don't smoke cigars, but um, <laughs> I got a room for it. It has all vintage Playboys. Nice. Wow. Oh, how cringe, dude. Vintage Playboys. Uh, a whole wall of it. Nice. Wow. Classy. They stopped the uh, issuing Playboy now due to COVID. Yeah. No, Are no you sure Playboy. it wasn't due because people could just, you know, get yeah. all that for free on the internet now? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's COVID that really. Oh, yeah. They were course. thriving before, I mean, come mm. on. How does it feel to sit here now, now that it's almost complete? Honestly? Yeah. Can you cuss? Sure, we'll we, can, we can believe it. <laughs> um, exhausting. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I can imagine. I mean, like, really. <laughs> What the fuck? How does it feel to live here now that you finished your house? Exhausting. He's really <laughs> selling can't. the house to me. I can't. I can't rest here, man. Look at these couches, man. <laughs> it's so cold in here. Why the fuck, dude? Oh, God. We're never going to get through this video, Ken. Jesus Christ. Let's skip the cigar and go to art gallery. Whoa, look at that red. <laughs> Different shades of red, dude. What the fuck? 
Wow. You can sit. You can sit and look at the rent. <laughs> they put benches so you can look at the rent. Look, I can stare Ooh. at the rent all day. Like, art's I coming can't. soon, okay? <laughs> they put benches. <laughs> oh, I can. I uh, just get lost in the color. <laughs> He hasn't built a home, he's just built, like, public spaces. Yeah, exactly. And that's why you realize, like, fuck, what do I do? No one's gonna buy this, I gotta... Uh, events, the one. This is one of the many, many, many kitchens, but we have a, a, a main kitchen at the lower level, so like a restaurant. this is not the main kitchen? No, this is probably no one what will ever fuck? use. Um, <laughs> it does What's very... the point? Oh, that ain't no one will ever use! I've never heard someone say that. No one will ever use this. <laughs> Then why does it exist? <laughs> like I can, you know, I got two places in my house that I've never, that I never go into, right? So I can, I can, I can feel this a little bit. You know? I, got like a whole, I got like a whole flat above my garage that I'll never go into. You and can I got rent like a, it out. I don't know. Fuck, I don't know. I don't want people living in my house. Well, I mean, if I was this dude, I would need to rent it out, obviously, because he's hurting. <laughs> Uh, I gotta kitchen. change the world. I got thirty-five thousand dollars a room, man. Cool things like it has a, a top drawer here, and oh, this is a top drawer. Have no way, dude. I actually like seeing like cool stuff in the kitchen. I hope they have like some. Like a Miele this. coffee machine in your coffee house. Coffee machine, right? No, but this. Yo, no. is that a fucking uh, what are they called? Whatever those cameras are. <gasps> He's got a good grip on it. Is me. the coffee machine of all coffee <laughs> machines? So this has an iPad. Oh yeah, look at look at working that. You okay. can make every kind of coffee, tea, anything you want. But the cool thing about it is, this is the setup here. So it holds the milk and keeps it cold, so you don't have to fill the milk up like in the Miele's. And then it grinds. That is it a fresh. lot of work. So, this does just, everything. You don't have to descale. You don't have to do anything. You just touch on your phone, cappuccino, and other than having a cup come up. Can't we see it then? I, I, I'm lost for words. I mean, it's so absolutely this is the terrible. Outdoor. Look at this. So, this is yeah. What a it's tiny just, TV for that. Such a big. Look, the TV is huge. Okay, you just don't understand how big it is with your eyes. <laughs> of the room, right. Okay. Can they gun for a, something bigger with that giant? They have like a projector or something. Yeah. Uh, wait, is that this a TV? Is the latest technology. This is a TV. The speakers are going on the right. Why is a big TV there? <laughs> Left, but there's no frame to it. There's no separation. It's just one screen. So let me stand in front of it so you guys can see how small this screen is. Uh, <laughs> and this is one of the. Can we see it? Can we. How does it. I like how they mismatch the size of it too. They build it <laughs> Like, what the fuck? Yeah, there's seven total swimming pool water features total. This is the main pool. It has there's seven pools? On three sides. Wow. This is a hot tub. And beyond this, I'll show you what we talked about earlier. This is the running track. Back. This is the so running when I came track. Here earlier, I Look how dirty <laughs> shit. Well, I can't wait to run there. Or you can just, you know, run here. <laughs> no, 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 I can't do that. It's too rich for that. <laughs> you could fill the tank of a car. Is that the that running track too? Or... And run out before you get to the end of the house. Uh, That's how long it is. No, it is. I mean, how many people is this hot tub for now? I'll let you know soon. <laughs> <laughs> That's the greatest answer we've ever had on the channel. <laughs> this is the outdoor living room. Ever. Why are they simping for this douchebag? This is really nuts over here. This is like a Wolfgang Puck barbecue. Oh. 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 <laughs> like, like what? Well, oh, another kitchen. Do you think they'll ever use this one? <laughs> no, probably not, you know. <laughs> Look at this. Now, normally, what do you, what? Videos, It'd be awful to cook in this. What the fuck? This is this is just an industrial kitchen. They have these in the back of restaurants. What? Yeah. What? <laughs> what? Look at the cabinets. Ooh, what could be in them? Hey, you got Ooh. cabinets? What? Giraffe anatomically correct giraffe skeleton. And it's awful. <laughs> Why? And hey, that's a nice uh, giraffe sculpture, but uh, is it anatomically correct though? Yeah, um, is it proportioned correctly? Oh, uh, oh it isn't. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Every light that you see is custom because they don't make lights this size. So that's kind of the thing. You... Never, they don't make lights that big, Ken. Never, <laughs> never done. <laughs> what is the other part? What? What am I not understanding you... about that sentence? What the fuck did he just say? <laughs> they don't make lights that big? They just what? don't. It's huge. I got I got this light back here in my background right now that's freaking no, no, like no, three no, times the size of that it's thing. The What's he talking about? Ken, if he said it's huge. 
He's standing 100 you know, meters away from me. The lights are all cuffed on. Don't look this way. Just okay. look this way to the right. And don't look at any of this. Just come straight. Jim, look Frank Henry, right. look. I'll look, I'll Jim, look down. Look to the left. Put your hand oh, over it. Oh, wow. Okay. God. I'm walking on water, literally. So this is you're the not, literally, you know entrance you're not. from Jesus. the street right, to the nightclub. So you if you want to have an event only not in your house, you could have valet from the street. They'll come up here, and then I'll show you the nightclub. You don't want a nightclub in your house. That's a terrible, terrible <laughs> idea. Who wants that shit? What? Yeah, you check their ID right there. This is the nightclub. Look at this. Shall I do the reveal? Okay, here's the reveal. So here's one of the most... I recognize the color blue. Oh, oh, this is in your yeah. other house, the same color. It's here's one of the most technology forward televisions with no, you can see there's no bezel on it. It's just one piece. And everything oh, in this house... You can hang out? ...is your creation, your ideas. Well, Paul McLean was the architect, but everything in this house was generally all of my ideas. And it's starting to make sense now. <laughs> it seems like a teenage dream, like, oh, wouldn't it be sick if I had like a nightclub in my house? Oh, and then dude, all so the cool. people could come by and I'd be the coolest because it's my house. And, yeah. and I would have like sit in the water and have pipes hanging out on the sides for some reason. <laughs> So cool. I like how you said that too. He's like, you know, the architect was actually this other guy, but yeah, generally it's pretty much me, you know. Architect, 2%, maybe 1.5, me. I mean, he did the whole thing, but I paid for it, you know, so uh, it was all me. Uh, I'm a genius. Brilliant step here for a nightclub too, right? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh. You're gonna get sued in no time having a nightclub at this place. I watched a documentary of the guy trying to build the biggest house. Have you seen that? No, but I, it, I bet he had a hard time. Well, that's the thing. It's a really good because the crash of, was it 2007 or 11? When he was trying to build a biggest house and he was flexing about it and then he lost all his money. And he made money in a scummy way too, which is whatever. But the thing is at the end of it, you're like, no one would want to trade places with this guy. He's such a fuck terrible person terrible doesn't care about his family and he just built this giant house that he's never gonna be able to finish and it's just awful yeah like everybody watching this video right now is just like you know what i would do is not spend all this money yeah, on this house you, and just exactly <laughs> go do something else exactly it's so <laughs> stupid everything is precision it's just <laughs> it looks so what 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 it like they this. Look, 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 they, they put out. them together. They don't look, even they're... look like expensive wood or anything. <laughs> it's just planks. And I've walked around a lot of these places, and Michael, you can attest to this. Some of the big modern houses, you don't feel like you could ever live there. Yeah. They, they just. Just like this one. Do not bullshit this and say that this is not one of them. Do not yeah, say that not shit, because even... you are fucking blowing smoke. Don't feel what? Yeah, That's cold. a good point. Yeah. As crazy cold. as this is, so cold. Yeah, because they have a slightly felted wallpapers on one tiny column. Get the Fine, fuck out of here. It feels so livable. Yeah. It's beautiful. And it will be livable. And you know what? Once I put in like... What? And where? Where? Where do you live? They have a kitchen that you never use. They have two giant sofas next to each other. You don't know which one to do. What um. the fuck do you do on the grass? <laughs> Who would use that outfit? What do you mean? You all said it looked like a hotel. It all looks like a hotel lobby in the nightclub. Are you going to live in the nightclub? It's like a staircase in a, in a museum. See, it's turning now. Oh, wow. Look. Oh, there we go. Whoa. Wow. Okay, we're back towards. <laughs> what? <the> Worth. <laughs> Worth it. Worth. Now I see it. It turns. Take my money. They, 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 had a, they had a guy had to sneak up and just spin it. <laughs> oh, look, it, <laughs> it's turning now. <laughs> what? We <laughs> They have a mirror? No, oh, get out of here. Awesome. No, what? You can watch yourself poop. No, what? Wow. <laughs> no fucking way, dude. Wow, dude. <laughs> Poor toilet thought they were there for a pee. <gasps> Tobacco day. You can sit and look at the people working. That's what it's for. <laughs> Why would you sit there? Well, you see, it's like it's like the zoo, right? Like, you know, rich people, a lot of rich people don't have to work anymore. So it's really nice for them to come and be able to observe someone doing their job. Sick. Hey, guys, how are you down there? Sick. Absolutely sick. Really sick. Yeah. You getting scared? No. Woozy. You can reach the top shelves from here. So this is the first living room. Why? I'll why? Show you what the but why? Sweet. 
What are these walls? Suede. Like? Suede. Are they making making fun of me? What the fuck are they saying? <laughs> suede, like uh, it's a material, and it gets ruined if it gets wet. So yeah, someone's just gonna spill their drink on the wall and mess up the suede walls. Oh well, it's a good thing they don't have like a nightclub or anything in there. <laughs> <laughs> the staircase going up. Can we pop in? Just no, have a quick... like a, yeah, yeah, come to this one. I'm showing you the best. Trust oh, me. Okay. These are the best too. It'll this guy wants idea. to get this the fuck over with. <laughs> this is the it's best. It's overwhelming. It wow. is. It's, it's truly overwhelming. It, it is. So, so cool. Wow. 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 <laughs> Do you hear that in the silence? You can hear like the alarms going off of like the sirens. No, I, and the, I the didn't hear it. No, I didn't. <laughs> That's like, great. <laughs> Wonderful. You know oh, what? I, I, I hear it. <laughs> as soon as all this happens. If I look at the bathroom, they're all the same, all the secondaries. Yo, they have a bathtub? <laughs> Dude, I love the, all the glass window. You can like just watch everybody be naked, you know? You can take a shower, everybody can see you. you know, it's great. Oh my god. So is this the kind of house you're looking at uh, when you're moving, Ken? Hell no. Come on. Absolutely not. But here we have a putting green. <laughs> but of course, what would it be without a putting green? Why wouldn't you have one? A lot of houses have this now. Did they just say they spent millions of dollars just to like put Get the air conditioner to air one unit? Yeah. So they can put the because, putting green here? Because it's better, Ken. It's better. Very hazy. Oh, it's usually never like this, you know? You mean it's, it's, this, is, this is what it is always in LA. It's always like this. <laughs> what are you talking about? This is like a normal day in LA. <laughs> oh. wow. 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 I can see the reservoir. Wow. With this fucking budget, and this land, I understand it's a valuable uh, area to live in. They could have done something so much cooler, but they went with the dumbest, generic, least practical things I have ever seen. And just it's... listening to this guy talk a bunch of mumbo jumbo, biggest lights. <laughs> it's just so boring. <laughs> uh, I'm done. Fuck this guy. <laughs> what did that top comment say? Oh, buys plastic to avoid waste. Yet has a whole pantry and kitchen bigger than my whole house. <laughs> it's more sustainable. The perfect view of smog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all about morning base, so I put six elevators in my house. Oh Let's my go. Well, that was uh, a whole trip. I'm not watching part two. Fuck that. Yeah, screw it. We, I think we've, we pretty much we yeah, saw the we first room it. and pretty we much get, saw the yeah, whole we house. The gist, yeah. It all looks the same. Smash like uh, if you wouldn't buy this house. Check out Ken. Subscribe. Links everywhere. <laughs> Become a member today so that we can build something better than this and show oh, it off to you. That's smart. That's smart. Uh, buy G Fuel as well. Thank you. <laughs>